In the previous video, we talked about vectors just in uh, the xy plane. And here we're going to generalize that a little bit to vectors in Rn. Now this fancy R here means the set of all real numbers. And you can think of the set of all real numbers as being the real number line. And we can consider that a space. We'll define space um, in, an, in one of the upcoming sections. But for now, just think of space as being you know, a place where you can move around. So you can think of this as being a, a one-dimensional space. And the vectors would either point you know, in the positive direction to some real number, or they could point in the negative direction to some real number. And I guess you also have the one, uh, you've also got the zero vector there that um, doesn't, uh, doesn't have any length, and just uh, is zero. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the real number line. Uh, R2 is the set of all ordered pairs of real numbers. So R2 is also the set of all points in the xy plane. R3 is the set of all ordered triples. And so R3 is a set of all points in 3D space. In, in general, you can think of Rn as being the set of all ordered n tuples of real numbers. And um, you can also think of it as being the set of all points in an n-dimensional space. Now, n-dimensional space, that gets difficult to think about once you get to n bigger than 3. Because, you know, n equals 1, you got the real number line up here. N equals 2 is the plane. N equals 3 is 3D space. Beyond that, you can still think of it geometrically, but it's difficult. If you're interested in that, there's a really cool book called The Fourth Dimension by Rudy Rucker. But anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of getting beyond uh, what we need to talk about here. The thing is, if you're wanting to talk about a vector in, say, five-dimensional space, um, we can still do that easily. We just can't visualize it. So let's look at this next, uh, next part here. Actually, let's look at this. A vector in Rn is an ordered list of n numbers from R. And the length of the list is the dimension of the vector. So, you know, if you want to talk about stuff from R5, that could be vectors that look like this. They just have, uh, you know, five entries in them. So, there are a few different ways we can think of um, a vector in Rn. You can think of it as a directed line segment in the space. And we could say space is n-dimensional. And really, I should have put these two together because they really say the same thing. Uh, a vector, you can think of it as a directed line segment or as an arrow. That's a line segment from you know the tail to the, the head. And another way, I, this, this is written kind of badly, but you can think of it as a um, just a list of n numbers written as a 1 by n matrix or as an n by 1 matrix. Usually we'll go with the, this as a um, n by 1 matrix, like I did up here, so it's a column vector. So anyway, I'm not, there, there aren't any exercises or anything from this section. I just wanted to talk a bit about vectors in Rn. And definitely watch the three blue one round videos because they do a really good job of talking about this and also of um, doing some visualizations in uh, 2D and 3D space. So that's it for this uh, this video.